Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about introduction to CocoTB, and also we discussed a simple example of two cross one multiplication. Now, in this video, I just walk you through the sequential circuit example, and the uh, and the example we are considering is a simple D Philip. Okay. So let me show you the code of RTL RTL code, then the Python test and how to write a make file. Okay, so this is what a simple D Philip. We are considering two inputs clock and D. We are not considering reset here. Okay, just a simple D flip flop with a clock and D and one output Q. And as you know, the truth table of this D flip flop. So whenever the input of clock, this clock is zero. Whatever the input, which may be zero or one, output should be zero. And whenever there is a clock, we are checking the value of D. So if D is equal to zero, output should be zero. D is equal to one, output should be one. After some delay, this is what a D flip. Okay, so output should follow to the input after some delay. Okay. And this is what a simple HDL code. Okay. So input clock D, output range Q. So we are making it as a range because we are using this always to series. And here always a direct passage of the clock. We are assigning the Value of D to Q using non block machine. And in, in this initial begin block, I'm just, just uh, you know, dumping the waveform in order to see the waveform that G to Q. Now, let me show you the make file. This make file is also very simple, just we are making sim here as I curse, very long. And the top level language is very long. And we are, you know, mentioning the our HDL. Code five D flip flop and the top level is D flip flop RTL top module RTL module name and the test name here and here Coco TV HDL timeout we are mentioning so the uh, time unit and time precision we are mentioning one nanosecond and one and here just we are including that code. now let me show you the test of this okay so we are importing a Coco TV then we are importing random because we are using, we are generating a random values 10 times. So, so in, in Python, we have to make use of this random if we want to generate a random. Then if from CocoTV dot clock, we are importing a clock because we want to generate the clock. Then we are importing from the triggers, triggers we are importing a falling edge of the clock. And from CocoTV dot result, we are importing a test failure. If the test is failing, we are making using of this test failure. Now here at the rate cocotv.test, which is a decorator. Okay, here we are def uh, defining one method. Okay, a sync def. You can give any name. Test. I'm giving test d flip flop. And within parenthesis, I'm giving dut. So with this dut, we can um, acquire, we can access the signals of our RT. And here just I'm printing the message. The start of test here. Dut dot underscore log dot info start of test. Inside that, I'm generating a clock of 10 nanoseconds. As you can see, CocoTB dot fork. We are making using of this fork and clock function to generate the clock. So CocoTB dot fork within parenthesis, clock, whatever we have imported here. When again in the again parenthesis, dot clock 10 for 10 nanoseconds. And we are making this nanosecond here to generate a clock. And we are make use of this start method to start generating the clock. And here just I'm printing generating a clock of 10 minutes. Here I'm using a for loop. So for i in the range of 10, 10 times I'm generating this random input using this random function. So generating random dot rand int 0, 1 and up uh, we are applying this random value to this input d up at every falling edge of the clock. And here I'm just checking the output. So if output is not equal to input, then we are raising a test failure and saying that result is incorrect and printing the value of D in Q. Else, if the output is equal to input, 
then we are saying value of output q is equal to value of input d in dispatch and we are printing the value of d in q here just i am mentioning the end of test using dut dot log dot okay very simple now let me show you the result for this okay so here i am just using make to see the value now you can see the observed things so we are seeing a start of test and generating a clock of 10 minutes here you can see the info messages okay so now let me show you so we are getting the else part meaning this is passing right why it is passing because we are getting the value of d and q both are equal so d is equal to 1 then q is equal to 1 if it is 0 then q is equal to 0 and same thing right? so it is passing okay now let me show you the waveform so that you will understand so here dump dot vcd is created to open that gtk wav dump dot vcd so it will open double click over here select all signal and nothing more and now we can observe the things so at uh, we, we are generating a clock at every you know 10 nanosecond so it is there and at passage of the clock we are checking the value so at, at this first passage of the clock d is equal to 1 q is equal to 1 in the next passage of the clock q is d is equal to 0 q is equal to 0 in the next same 0 and 0 in the next passage of the clock d is equal to 0 q is equal to 0 in the next passage of the clock d is equal to 1 q is equal to 1 and so on you can observe it here. and as you can see it is just a delayed version of that input so this output is just a delayed version of this input. So this is what the output we have found for that DP. So with this, I hope you have understood how to write a code for a sequential circuit using CocoTB and Python. And also I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.